Hi, this is Kathy Zukimoto with ID8 TV here from WonderCon 2018, and I'm here with Richard Ludlow, Matthew Earl. And uh, they are audio engineers, audio sound designers. Yeah, so I'm more on the sound side, and yeah, I'm, I'm a composer, so music. Yeah, yeah, we we work together though. We have uh, one company, so we get to collaborate on a lot of uh, different things. Uh, I'm told that you do a lot of um, uh, video games. Yeah, yeah, primarily video games. We uh, we used to do a little bit more film and and trailer work in the past, but uh, we love games, so we we just kind of tried to focus into the game market. Yeah. Is that what brought you to the video game market? Is like your your love of it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I've played video games since I was like five years old, so it's like that was always the end goal. I wanted to write music for video games, and that's what I'm doing now. So. But you started off in features and TV. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of. of indie films and things like that and then as I started picking up more game works I'm like oh this is really really what I love to do so started to move over to game to video. So how did you like start off in that like when you were younger was it were you did you see, hear music in a movie and you were like that's what I really got to do did you start off as a musician were you in a band Yeah yeah I was starting off uh, as a musician and, and I did play in bands bands a lot lots of metal bands and I still I'm actually a member of a band called Xanthocroid and we do uh, like cinematic black metal with like orchestra and it's really epic ridiculous stuff but uh, throughout high school I was playing World of Warcraft and that was when I was like oh man this is the coolest thing ever I want to be a composer for video games and yeah so that was really the driving force that pushed me into games and now you're doing it yeah exactly it's 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 pretty great so now what would you say to somebody who's just starting out and you know they really want to do what it is that you do like what's their start how do they get into it yeah, I, I honestly think one of the, the best things anybody could do, d doesn't matter if you want to do video games, film, anything that having to do with music, the most important thing to learn is like how to record and produce your own music. That is like the most important thing, the, most, like, the biggest key. So when, when I was in high school, I, I worked in a recording studio and that's what I picked up a lot of my knowledge there. And I felt like that was, I had no idea that it would be so useful to me later, but it's like, I'm most thankful for being able to have that knowledge in high school because because that helps tremendously. Do you have to see the video game and the images first, and then you get inspired with the music that way? Yeah, I, I think visuals are the most in, inspiring thing. Because you can you can say words all you want, but people have different imp interpretations for words. But as soon as I see a piece of concept art or see some gameplay, that clears up so many things and gives a very clear idea of where the emotion should be in the in the music. Now, what do you do when uh, somebody falls in love with the temp track? Oh man, that I mean that happens all the time, doesn't it? So um, you try to to extract like what what the temp track is doing that like why they love it, like why what it's accomplishing, and usually it's like sync points and time things like that, which those are easy because then you just just kind of hit the same emotions in the same places, but you don't want to just kind of take the spirit of the music and like steal the music. It's more more about like what is the emotion it's hitting at what times and just also getting those emotions at those times in your music so yeah. fascinating and um, you work with him you help design those points so yeah usually uh, you know our company is very focused on both music and sound design so I'm more on our sound design team side of things so people sometimes even love fall in love with temp sounds uh, you know we've had uh, one uh, developer really fell in love with gunshots from a specific game and so at the end of the day uh, we, we took our sounds that were, you know, very unique, but and this uh, this game was a little bit older and had very unique frequency ranges, so we actually they ended up sound like, very good. Yeah, they, the sound, <laughs> they sounded quite bad, but so we took our nice, uh, you know, new sounds uh, and, and were able to kind of frequency match them to the old sounds to kind of blend the two, uh, you know, ideas, and that kind of made them happy, but it's funny that people even <laughs> fall in love with temp sound effects. That's yeah. interesting. And how did you get into this? Was it something you wanted to do ever since you were young? Yeah, you know, I saw yeah. originally on the music side of things, there was a composer, Chance Thomas, who did like Lord of the Rings Online, Avatar game and everything, and, and he had given a lecture about interactive music, and from there I kind of discovered sound design, and so interactive sound and, you know, technology with sound um, was something uh, very, you know, strongly pursued in college, and then just started getting a lot of work, and uh, yeah, that just kind of... How did you guys meet? I was actually the first employee of the of the company of Hexney Audio, so yeah. just a totally blind job application. Now he owns half of it, but yeah, it was a, it was a Facebook uh, oh, wow. post originally. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, Kinda oh, this random. guy. We, we we I looked at him on paper, heard his stuff, and I was like, we gotta hire this guy. This guy's great. Everyone else at the company was like, oh, I don't know. And then when we met him in person, and then I was like, I hate that guy. And everyone else was like, he's great. <laughs> but you know, it worked out. It worked out. And, it and, did. and still. We hate each other. Yeah, exactly. So. It's good. It's good. 
Yeah. <laughs> do you guys do voiceover too? Both of you have really great voices. We do not do it ourselves. Yeah. We do do a lot of voiceover stuff at the company. I usually do our direction or, and um, we record. But yeah, yeah. So um, we get to have a lot we'll, of fun with we'll that. We'll temp it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then they fall in love with that. And they don't yes. Care. We just got to record uh, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay for a game the other day. So that was oh, fun. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, kind of. Fun. There was a lot of swearing. Well, of course. Of course. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Yeah, thanks yeah. so much. Appreciate it.